by city staff members, specifically the planning department, about preserving these artifacts. I myself actually brought it up at the SMTX talks um, in our last uh, fall, and I really haven't heard anything. And I took a lot of time preparing for that. I know that we have a lot of proactive people in this community who are very concerned about that. I couldn't even see and take a picture of that development over there by the university behind this, the blighted 7-Eleven. So you, you look up and you see a big board of a 7-Eleven that looks like an embarrassment on the city. And then behind it, you see this brand new building. And every time I drove by there, I couldn't even bring myself to take a photo of it, thinking of the number of human remains and arrowheads that are sitting there. Who walked off with those? Or what kind of, I don't know, they end up in some sort of crusher? How would you feel if your parents' graves at some point down the line, years from now, were desecrated like the ancestors who once lived here in Harmony. And I would strongly encourage Mr. Lewis and his department to think carefully about the long heritage of our community and integrate something like that in some sort of future uh, land development code or environmental regulations, because unfortunately there's been no discussion. And it's, it's saddening to me, because when I do gardening, my husband does gardening in San Marcos, you know what he does? He, the arrowheads are all over the yard. I mean, I've got a whole bookshelf full of them. And if I find them on Belvin, I'm pretty darn sure they're all over San Marcos. And so I would strongly encourage you all to think about that. Thank you for your time.